Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And we just found out some good news. I was in uh, my chat with my Tackle Tuesday buddies and Johnny informed me that XP challenges are back, baby. Let's take a look at them. Now, if you had picked up some of the credit ones, I wish I hadn't picked, I just picked these up last night. Just picked them up last night because I was like, why not? I didn't think we were getting credit to the dev team. Didn't think we were going to get this fixed this quick. They stepped up their game. So kudos to you guys. You heard the community. Thank you so much. That is one thing that you can say is they listen to the community. They do what's in their power, guys. They're a um, small company, so sometimes things don't happen overnight. In this case, kind of did. Got it fixed quick. That's awesome. I'm super impressed. At least we, we got our dailies now. So what I'm going to do, I, I picked up, um, which one did I pick? Oh, here. Any for 513 XP. So I think what I'm going to do is I've been wanting to try out bottom fishing with lake trout. So we're going to go do that today and see how the bottom fishing works with lake trout. And so I am going to look at artificial corn but before we go any further guys please hit that like subscribe and notify bell it really helps the channel we are growing uh, thanks in large part to tackle tuesday and fishing with my friends and a certain tiktok video apple let's take a look at this today thank you guys so much for considering subscribing to the channel it's absolutely free let's take a look at this a little further you can see i have this rod here, the exhale, I think this is one that you can buy. It's really not much different than this. Um, 33 pound max lines, you can see here, 33 pound max line and not as strong, but what does it matter? You know, it really doesn't matter that much. And I just threw that rod on there. So I'm trying, I'm leveling both at the same time. I've got some different setups here, as you can see. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna use this artificial corn I have not used it before. As you see, it's 0% mastery. I'm just using a one alt hook today just to see what happens. Uh, this is gonna be the first time fishing for lake trout and I'm going to the hot spot, guys. If you don't know where that's at, I'm showing you right now. All right, guys, we have our first lake trout here. I, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little slow. I did switch my hook size up. I think I have a size one hook on now, which is silver or better. I wasn't aware one alt was gold or better. Sometimes there's no goads and you have to spawn one in by catching a few smaller ones. There's a silver lake trout. All right guys, interesting development of being here in my favorite lake trout spot. And I'm just investigating, you know, is bottom fishing better than our traditional methods on certain fish and things like that. I like to do those things, you know me. Of course, always experimenting. So now I'm, I think I'm going to give up on lake trout. I've only caught one, just the one. And I'm going to go up here and try musky. As you look, musky. Oh. Of course, tab out, guys. That's the secret. Remember? Let's see what happens. We talked about leaving. We tabbed out. Works every time. That's that's my secret. I do want to go try musky though and see. I'm just and they will bite the white wafters. Wafters. When I say wafters, I feel like I'm stuttering and meaning to say rafters. Say wafters. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird word for me. Weird word wafters. All right, that is a silver. You can see I get about 1%, 2% on the corn. It's an 18 pounder, but let me show you a little trick here. What's going on is I'm using that 33 pound line. So I just caught an 18 pound fish on 33 pound line. So that gave me less XP on these things, less XP overall. So now that I'm going to, I'm gonna to drop to a 15 pound line. I'm gonna to go to a four hook and I'm gonna use these white wafters, 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 
the bottom feeder has been taken away from Lake Trout. I don't know if any if, if everybody knew that, but that happened an uh, update or two ago. So, and musky, of course, are a topwater biting fish. So, I'm really testing the effectiveness of bottom fishing with fish that normally don't bite on the bottom, you know? I always like to kind of get in here a little, in this little area here. Just kind of cast in the lilies, cast in between the lilies, just see what happens. Just gotta see what happens, guys. So I've, I've hooked into some big ones in this area. I had my line snapped once, pretty sure I had a diamond. It's always a diamond that snaps your line, right? Another little tip, guys. I've had some people, you know, trying to figure the bottom fishing thing out. I don't know if it's coincidence or not. I was fishing with Fatness and some of my buddies when we first started bottom fishing, and I threw it out there, and I wasn't getting bites. And I read something about make sure your line's tight. And so it makes sense. How are you going to get the nibble? Right? Oh, daily challenge is reset in 10 minutes. Sweet. So how are you going to get the nibble? If And this is real life too. Like you want to, when you throw a bottom line out, you want to tighten it up so that you get that jerk on the pole. And so when we tightened our lines up, we started getting bites. Coincidence? I don't know, because there were times that I threw my line out when I was uh, fishing for carp and things, and I forgot to tighten my line up, and I still got bites. So I don't know if, if it's a 100% works all the time type of deal, but I know it doesn't hurt to tighten your line up. I noticed that I started getting more bites when I tightened my line up. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Does it matter? Can you leave it loose? I have gotten bites while it's loose. I've gotten more bites while it's tight. So hope that helps. They do not nibble. They bite directly. So you better be paying attention when you're fishing for musky. Could also be a pike. And they fight hard. They just fight really hard. As I say that, I pull them in. But uh, there's a silver muskie. So it has picked up a lot. We're, I'm, we're doing pretty good with the uh, the corn. Uh oh, this one's nibbling. What is this? What would nibble? a catfish what if I hooked into well, I don't know what bites the white wafters wafters the, the, the white thing I don't I don't know what bites it yeah I've not learned all these new baits yet. What? It nibbled. It's not a... I'm going to lose it. It's not a pike or a muskie. It's not a... It's not a largemouth. They don't nibble. They're aggressive. See how I'm just bumping that up into the red? As long as you just bump it up there, you're okay. If it stays there for a prolonged three or four seconds, it could snap your line, but... I don't know what this is. This, this is going to be a surprise. Has to be a catfish during the day. Whoa! We just got a diamond channel catfish. On a 15 pound line out here just doing a random video on 
Wow. I... Wow. I'm... All right, guys. The white wafter. Wafter. The white thing. The new bait. You see it there. Four hook. Fishing here at the Pike Diamond Spot. Is this even... Let me check something. Is this even a known catfish diamond spot? Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's real close. It's not exactly, but it's on the same lake. Diamonds have been caught like right here. Real close to where I'm at, so there's no point in reporting that. It's evidently just anywhere in this general area you can catch a diamond catfish. I am absolutely blown away. I don't, I don't know that this has happened while I've been making a just a random video before. I'm, I'm not sure that it has. How are we doing on our challenges? Oh, they did reset. Interesting, though. Okay, guys, I have to ask you guys a, a question. As I've said many times, I learned just as much from you all. I picked this challenge up before the reset. We're seven out of eight. It kept it. Has it always been that way, or is this new? Like, is it going to let me keep this challenge, and then I complete it, and then maybe I can pick another one up? Or Because the other challenges were there, now they're not. But this one that I've not completed yet is still here. I thought it wiped the slate clean. Let me know in the comments. Is this a new thing? Because I picked this up right, you know, 10, 15 minutes before the reset. So it didn't clear this one. It's still here. You see we're seven out of eight. So I'm wondering if that is a new feature or if that's always been there and I just never noticed or the situation hasn't presented itself. So let's pick up some new challenges then. That's a bronze. There's 513 XP. Oh, okay. So that one's still locked. I was hoping it would give me a new. But it was an unfinished challenge and it let me finish it. I just don't know if that's always been a thing or not. But we need a silver and like a five pounder and we'll be good. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, I think we've got our five pounder. All right, there's a silver 10 pounder. That should have gotten rid of all of our other daily challenges and we should be able to move. There's 618 XP, baby. Oh yeah, look at that. We can actually see the bar moving. It's so nice, it's so nice. Okay, there we go. It's time for a new map, but that's gonna do it for me, guys. What a fish. What a trip out here to my favorite pike spot and, and tiger musky spot just out here because I still don't have a diamond tiger musky and landed another huge channel cat and so maybe we're on to something guys here was my setup I had a 15.43 pound line on just trying to get a little extra XP because I'm trying to level this to get a little more XP and I'm bottom fishing with the four hook and the white wafters that is going to do it for this video. Please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Challenges are back, baby. Another diamond in our pocket. And make sure to tune in December 21st, Subathon on YouTube. Starting at 8 a.m. Eastern. How long am I going to go? That's up to you guys. Remember, subs are absolutely free. Adds three minutes per sub. 10 minutes per member. We're doing some giveaways. Giving away some DLC keys. Giving away some merch going to be a fun time and also tackle tuesday final week is coming up next week what will it be we find out tomorrow what the fish will be and i have a five point lead it's a battle between me and johnny again as it has been most of the season thank you guys so much for tuning in get those daily xp challenges we'll catch you in the next video